Let's do this. Good girl. Go! Easy, 
this okay? Slow up now. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. Hey, let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. When they see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time playing sick and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. They're left here, towards roads. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Cause oh, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. 
So, we block the tracks with the wagon, then jump them. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. If we handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it on the tracks. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Right. Yeah. Mr. Marston. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, get on that hey. train. Bastard. All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. wait until you get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. Help me. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. Je ne peux pas mourir maintenant. I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Don't do it. What's the problem? No. Honey, hey! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay! Come on! Okay! In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick! These two seem to think we're playing games. This is unsafe. I wanna get. Damn it! Sick as bad and dead, lady. Thank I'm you for my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says. So this Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Boys Let's make me. this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Great job. Tough guy, huh? You sure about what? that? Quick, come on! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. No! Honey, now! Nah. Son of a bitch! Please, Come on, cuff it up, please, people! Don't be don't shy! Help me. Everything you got! Let's go! Come on! You're better than this! I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. What is it? You alright? Go the baggage car! Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Over. I'm seeing double here. 
That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Marston, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <laughs> Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last chance. Drop your weapons and shit. We got more on the left. Oh, come on! To the trees, you see them? That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. And you weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Easy now.
Let's go, girl. Good girl. So, you're still alive. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Much appreciated, you know.
Make you all famous. Go on. You look pretty doing it. I'll move it up. Good mustangs. Come on. Get up! Go on now, Ollie! Move! Come on, horses! Keep moving! Come on. Yeah. You want your likeness taken? Go. Now, run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on. <laughs> That's it. I've got it. I've got it. Yes. Arthur? Yep. Genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they tried to eat us. Mm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Now, for a few final checks. Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time. Idiot. Easy there, girl. There, girl. Maybe charity will find you! Help a blind man. Take this. Your whole life has been one of regret, but it can end better than it began. Hey there, girl. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Yeah. Easy there. Mr. 
Problem here. Okay, there. Uh, move. Watch where you're going. Oh, sorry. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you, we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? I just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You wanna see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here.
Good? Sure. Let's go. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name? Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. up there. Get a proper view. This way, Arthur. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Was that an epic? Yep, that spooked them all right. All right, let's go round them up. <laughs> okay then, girl. Let's go. go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Those cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Yeah! You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way, trust me. This ain't the right time for you. 
to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Let's go. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. <laughs> Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good? Honey. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will ya? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Leopold. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> 
Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderland! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Vanderland! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here! Before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, you I... depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott not? Like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense! Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whatever he may be. Let's get Stroud. 
Russian go. Come on, come on. Sure, nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure, we can't stick around after this. Uh, Let's go! <laughs> oh. I better get out of here. 